Hey, Cormac said. You want something hot to drink? Or a shot of whiskey? Finally, Odysseus Grant glanced up. His eyes glittered. How are your protection spells, your defenses? Are they strong? They're fine, he answered flatly, put out on Amelia's behalf. What's the problem? T, yes. All right. He'd come here. He was asking about protections because he needed someplace safe. Because he wasn't. What's coming after you? Grant's expression turned haunted, and he didn't say a word. Right. T. Some chamomile, I think. Got anything that'll make him tell the truth? Gormick asked, only half joking. Gentle goodwill. Also only half joking. He'd forgotten. The stove was electric, out with the rest of the power. He could find another way to boil water, but that seemed like a chore. So he poured the shot of whiskey after all. Grant clutched it with the air of a drowning man and drank the whole thing. Cormac had never seen him so anxious. The man was usually the epitome of control. Cormac was losing patience and had to remind himself, hunting, gardening, just wait. The storm seemed to subside, moving farther east. Thunder was less frequent and the time between the light and the sound longer. The rain had turned gentle. The power was still out. Finally, Grant seemed to settle. His shoulders unclenched a notch. He stared at the glass a moment, skeptical. Whiskey, you said? Nothing else? Look, if you don't trust me, you shouldn't have come here. Grant curled his lip in a silent chuckle and set the shot glass aside. Amelia says she'll have a better idea of how good her protections are if you tell us what's wrong. Narrowing his gaze, Grant studied them. How do you do it? How do you live with an entire other consciousness in your mind? That didn't really describe their relationship. In all their years together, he'd never found an easy way to explain it, he said. I'm never lonely. He's stalling, Amelia said testily. Cormac passed the observation along. You're stalling. Grant nodded, acknowledging. How much do you know about doorways, portals, gates? Not the kind you can close with a slab of wood, I'm assuming. Grant didn't smile, barely acknowledged the joke. Cormac added, I've seen them work. I've seen what uses them to travel. Kitty had vanished through a portal once, traveling from Denver to Yellowstone in a flash. They'd had to go after her by car to get her back, and save the world, it turned out. More than a century ago, Amelia had essentially placed herself in a pocket dimension to keep her soul from dying with her body. He wasn't sure theoretical physics discussions of multiple dimensions could explain what was going on, since that seemed mostly to do with mathematics and modeling the way the universe worked. Not that he'd retained much about it from the reading he and Amelia had done on the subject. So why do you want to know about doorways? Cormac prompted. 